Hi guys, I'm Autumn Beckman and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. I'm filming this at the very end of the day, so I already know everything that's going to be in the video. The plan was to meet with my mother to do a little pottery painting, to run a couple of errands, and then come back home and work on things. But it's almost 7 p.m. now, and I just got home very recently, having been out the entire day. Ended up doing a lot more shopping than I was expecting, mostly browsing, but I did get a few things. So in this video, I'll take you along with me. I am going to show you the things I got, but not in this video, I'll show you tomorrow. With the pottery painting, let me explain. What we did was paint bowls for Roxy and for Nora, my mom's new dog, who yes, is a Doberman. I forgot to mention that in yesterday's video where you met her for the first time, but several of you guessed correctly. So congratulations to you, you get a gold star. She is a Doberman. Currently she is a tiny itty bitty little Doberman, but she will grow to be a full-size Doberman at some point. We've made it a tradition, a tradition that I started with my dachshund Sebastian to paint a dog bowl for each new dog who enters the family. So Sebastian had one. Let me show you. It's right in front of me. Here it is. This is Sebastian's bowl and you can see I drew him, a little dachshund. He goes all the way around the bowl like that. And then inside is his food. It was his kibble and then he would get green beans and a dollop of pumpkin because he needed a high fiber diet. So that's the bowl I made for him. And then Baron got one. Let me go grab that. I have two bowls to show you. This is Sebastian's water bowl. So that also has the dachshund going all the way around. And then it looks like that inside to look like the water. And this is Baron's bowl and you can see him going all the way around the bowl as well. So you see a theme here. So you may have an idea of what Roxy's bowl may look like. And in Inside Baron's bowl. Can you tell that's a squirrel? It's squirrel stew. Two reasons for this. Baron used to be obsessed with squirrels and he would bark. He wouldn't bark. He would run and chase them as soon as he saw them. And also he eats anything. So this has just a bunch of stuff in it. Now I've had Roxy for a few years. So why am I waiting this long to make her a bowl? I'm not. I've waited this long to make a replacement bowl. She had one when she first came to live with us. I made one for her and somebody broke it at some point. I won't say who. And it's taken me a while to go make her another one. My mom's dachshund Lily also had a bowl and now Nora has a bowl. So you'll see us making those in this video. And then you'll see the shopping. And there's a point at which I came across some shops in a new building. It's like a brand new building. And I love this place now and I'm gonna have to start going back to it and explore it more. It was very nice. So stick around to see that. And after all the shopping, you'll see the advent calendars. And one of the new shops that I came across was a French shop where everything is imported from France and they had some handbags that you're going to want to know about. They're very special. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Well, my mom and I have come here to the Mad Potter. We're about to do some painting. I'm painting a bowl for, what dog am I painting for? Roxy. I was about to say Nora. My mom's doing a bowl for Nora. And I chose a cereal bowl because that's what I use. I'm starting with some brown paint on the bottom and some black paint to draw with. My paint brushes. And I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. You can guess as I go along. Here's my first part of the design. Any guesses yet? Made a little progress. Any guesses yet? All right, I've made some progress. I'm still working on it. There are five different colors of the purple, different shades. And because of that, and because we have to do three layers of each or three coats of each, I've had to make a chart of the bowl and the palette here and my trusty agenda. So I have the bowl up here with each of the squares numbered with the paint color and the palette with the paints numbered with the color. And then I also have each color listed here and how many coats I've done of each. Very necessary to keep me on track to getting this done properly. Any guesses yet? Okay, all the coats have been painted now and next I'm going to use this black scripter to draw. All right, here's the inside almost finished. I've made progress. What do you think it is? There's a children's party in here now, so it's a little louder, but this is the outside of the bowl. It has I don't have a tripod to set this down, but that's Roxy. And she wraps around the whole bowl because she's part dachshund, so she's long. And she has her floofy butt and floofy tail. 
and it's got her name on it. And I still have to do one more thing to the inside. All right, my masterpiece is complete. Here's the inside. Now, can you tell what it is? I had a master plan. And here's Nora's bowl that my mom painted. She tried a lace technique inside, so we'll see how that works. You put lace down and then sponge over it with another color. After it fires, it's gonna look really different. Hopefully, it turns out well. I left with nothing from the previous jewelry store, but I'm about to head into this one, Majuri. I bought some things from them in the Black Friday sales online. It's in this beautiful new building that I've never been to before. I need to show you the stairwell to the parking garage too. It's very cool. Oh, and I should give you a little pan here because it's very pretty. It's this little green space with shopping in the middle of this apartment building. Check out that staircase. How cool is that? It's just kind of floating there. This is a vegan ice cream shop. Check out their winter specials. Those look great. This is my new favorite place. This building with all the shops and the restaurants and everything. I did get something from Majuri. I actually went there because I bought a pair of earrings online. They were little huggies and one of the hoops wouldn't close. So I went to exchange it and I picked up something else that was not jewelry, I'll show you later. And I have to say I'm very impressed with their jewelry. I was looking around, it was so nice to see it in person instead of just online. So I'm glad they had this store where I could do that and try things on. Gold and diamond jewelry at reasonable prices for golden diamonds. Here's a French bazaar store. Is everything bazaar in there? I'm so glad I stopped in there. I picked up something I'll show you when I get home. They had some handbags. I'm gonna bring you closer so you can hear me over the traffic. All right, I'm back in the courtyard. So they had these little drawstring bags on gold chains and they were made from fabric. And it said on the tag and the lady was telling me they're made from these couture fabrics. By the way, everything in that store is imported from France. So the bags are made in France and they're made of these couture fabrics from Balmain, Dior, Chanel, and the like. And they were really pretty. They were only $225. Now I have to decide which one to get. <laughs> I'm not sure. This navy one is Dior. I'm not sure what the white one is. I'm most drawn to those, but then this one too, this light blue, it had kind of a shimmer, a little, sil little silver shimmer, and then this velvet ribbon to tie it together. And from far away, it didn't look all that interesting, but up close, it was so beautiful. Decisions, decisions. Okay, I'm heading back to the car. But this is where I came from, and it looks like you have to have a key card to get in, which I don't. So let's see. Yep. Okay. How do I get to my car now? There are elevators in here, but I think you need a key card for that too. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. Let's see if this will go down to my car. Look at the pretty, pretty Christmas tree. Elevator music. All right. I've made it to the parking garage. I told you I had to show you the green stairwell. So I'm going back up so I can show you that. First of all, there's a gate here, which is weird never seen a gate at the top of a stairwell but you just open that but then look what happens when you open this door this is crazy look at that a neon lighted hallway that door is the one I just tried to get in that was locked that you needed a key card for okay I'm going back down to my car I have never seen anything like that I thought I was walking into some kind of a pot store or something and I only have one hand free so pardon me Hello, doggos. Come on. How are you? I can't turn the light on. Hold on. Aha! Aha! The light is on! I finally made it home. Gonna put all this stuff down, get the wagon, take the dogs down, and go get the rest of the stuff and packages. We're taking the wagon instead of the doggy chariot so we can get packages and things. Roxy was very confused about that and she just jumped into her chariot as we drove past it. She had to be retransferred. Going up in the elevator. Gotta get stuff out of the car. See, are you ready? You're always ready, aren't you? Baron, are you ready? Here we go. We've got the stuff from the car. Roxy, get out of there. Paul, if you're watching. Baron, get out of there. Paul, if you're watching, ignore the giant orange box. It's not for you. It might be for him. Shh. Getting our package. Two of them. I need two hands. They thought this was gonna be fun. <laughs> are you guys ready for advent calendars? We know Roxy is. Baron, are you tired or something? All right, Roxy's like, 
Don't give Hannah anything. I'm going to get in the way. Oh my gosh, my chocolates from yesterday are still here. I forgot to finish them. Hello, Roxy. Uh-huh. Yeah, pretend you're all cute and stuff. I feel like doing the Tony's chocolate calendar first, and day four is down here. It's a green one today. Whoa, it's dark almond and sea salt. <gasps> Sounds great. It looks like a partially melted medallion. Hurt my teeth a little bite, that one. That is a delicious combination. Day four on the Jet Set chocolates calendar. Oh, this one came out easier than yesterday. That's good. Looks like that on the outside. It has an A on it for autumn. Looks like that on the inside. I'm not sure what it tastes like but it's good. Did I show you guys this picture of me? Paul took that when we were in New York in Central Park in the snow and he printed it and gave it to me for Christmas last year. It's his favorite picture of me. This might be a problem. The chair's empty, but these are still going on the chair. Let's see how long it takes them before I can even finish the sentence. There you go. We're still missing one. Or is he there and I don't see him? Baron, where's your brother? Baron, are you here somewhere? How did he disappear? Oh, there he is. He was hiding behind me. All right, day number four. It's right here. I did day number four yesterday. Uh-oh. Let's do day number three then. Here's day number three. Look at her. Roxy, you're pitiful, but also very cute. Your brother needs to come over here and get his cookie. Oh, I guess I'll turn around and give them to him. Hello, Baron. There you go. Here you go, Roxy. Baron. Oh, so close. You can have it. Waiting so patiently until she's not. So far, they've had an even number of cookies, I think. Or even if they haven't, with two calendars, we get an even number. Now Vincent gets box number four. Vincent, you're on your swing tonight. You having fun? Gonna come see us? Hello. Hello. Silly bird. I have your box. I'm going to put it on your shelf. There you go. Now you have a box on your shelf. Na 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 bat bird. That's one of her tricks. She's part bat. Okay, go get your box with your peanut. Or don't. Your choice. Okay, that's the box from yesterday. Yes, it is. It's yesterday's box. Say bye. Bye-bye. Bye. She said bye. I talked over her.